Good morning, day 31, and it's about 40 degrees, a little less. Oh, tree. Um, just getting going this morning. Out of camp right at 7, which is nice. No wind this morning, beautiful sunrise. It's going to be a good day going up into the Grayson Highlands to see the ponies today. So about 19, I think is what we're looking at for today. And my left foot's, the top of it's a little sore. Didn't do too bad yesterday, but now it's sore this morning. So see how it goes today. And uh, yeah, it's, it looks like maybe I bruised it the other day. We'll see how it goes and uh, show you the good views today. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. I think 63, so probably high 50s up here, which is perfect hiking weather. So we're gonna enjoy it because Starting tomorrow, it's supposed to be raining for a few days. Let's get cranking. So the trail's been a little up and down this morning. The first like uh, two or three miles here. But now we're going down on this logging road, which is nice. And I know we've got a big climb later to get up into the Grayson Highlands. So I think that's about nine or 10 miles in is when we hit the big climb. Look at those pine forests I'm walking into. How beautiful is that with that sunshine coming straight at me? Oh man, I love mornings. So I'm walking on the Virginia Creeper Trail. This, um, this probably AT lines up with it. If you're not familiar, it's a bike path. I want to say it's like 68 miles or something like that. Um, that goes through Virginia. Uh, Damascus is basically the halfway point in it. But you can see it's pretty awesome. It's, I mean, it's designed for bicycles. So, um, super uh, popular. Yeah, it'd be pretty neat to come back here sometime and and do this. So maybe, maybe, maybe we'll have to do that sometime. Come on the, it's set up where you can bike from town to town, so you don't have to like have all camp out and stuff. But pretty neat. So this is definitely one thing I love about uh, through hiking is the fact that like, you find something like this, the Virginia Creeper Trail. Like, I had no idea that it and the AT shared some of the same pathway for a bit. And uh, I may have heard of the Virginia Creeper Trail, but didn't really know anything about it until I got to Damascus and saw the signs and the map. And a pretty, a pretty awesome. You know, you never know what you're going to run across out here. And how trails intersect and things you've heard about and then boom now you now i'm walking on it so this bridge is still part of the creeper trail <laughs> obviously designed for bicycles and we are up here it's probably a couple hundred feet down and this thing is long it's at least two or three hundred feet long i think and there's another bridge on up there there's a couple of these Oh, there's the sunshine. Beautiful sunshine. That's the bridge I just walked across. Obviously, you can tell it's an old railroad bridge. But you could tell because of the grade anyway for the bicycles. That's a huge bridge. But now we're just back on the AT by itself. So long, Creeper Trail. Coming into Lost Mountain shelter to have a quick uh, second breakfast we just stopped at the lost mountain shelter there had my quick second breakfast and uh, actually met a dad and two daughters from noblesville indiana and so that was kind of funny because uh, they knew exactly where um dad lives so um so that was fun and uh, so we're just chatting for a few minutes. And, um, they're actually hiking back to Damascus today. So they're going opposite direction, but really nice meeting them. Well, we're walking alongside a pasture right now. And this is not the Highlands. This is just, I assume it's some farmer's pasture that we're walking in. I'll take it, it's nice. 
nice path and just walking on the green grass on a beautiful day and i know we're going up top there here in a few minutes well not a few minutes a little while made it to buzzard rock this is what i thought was from the bottom this is the first mountain white top mountain is up there and this is the start of the highlands and look at this view let me get around these rocks here this view is phenomenal i don't know how far i can see it's beautiful though Way down that valley, that's where we came across that uh, pasture. And I don't know if you can see straight out there in front of us, there's a ski slope way out there. No idea what ski slope that is, but you can still see snow on it. It's cool, but it's not cold up here. But boy, it's a gorgeous day. Hey, check this out. I don't know if they had a fire or what. It must have been. I have no idea. But all these are trees. They're like little trees. And they're everywhere. I've never seen anything like this. They're just everywhere right through here. Like I said, I assume it must have been a forest fire at some point. But they're just tiny. They're maybe three feet tall, two and a half feet tall. Super pretty though. Here's a little spot I stopped for lunch. Concrete block on a rock. I was like, that's perfect. But check these trees out. I don't know why they do this, but there's like no side branches. They go up and then each one V's. Um, and they're not very tall. It's, it must just be the way the wind is, or I guess up here and stuff. Pretty crazy. Like I, I just never seen trees. Every one of them is, does that. Goes up and then bees. And then, I don't know, pretty strange. So I'm just sitting here, side of the hill, eating lunch, and uh, I just contemplating the universe. I just have to say, I'm definitely the luckiest man alive to have a wife that lets me do these things, all my crazy, weird stuff. And um, yeah, just amazing. I love her so much. It's just amazing that, I mean, most people just wouldn't let somebody do this and chase her dreams and she doesn't just love me, she supports me and it's awesome. And, um, hopefully I support her because she does me because I doubt it because she takes phenomenal care of me. Anyway. This time I'm just contemplating the universe. Here you're having lunch. So after lunch there, I'm back in uh, the pine forest. So I've gone down elevation just a little bit. Um, so I'm walking over towards Mount Rogers. Mount Rogers is where I'm camping tonight and at the shelter. And that is the highest mountain in Virginia. And I misspoke because I'm white top mountain which I've just gone around is the second highest that was the one with the cell tower on it and, um, that you saw the the track the road like kind of road up to that's white top mountain so the trail goes around that mountain but it goes up onto uh, Mount Rogers ah just like in Vermont they've got the maple uh, lines all between the trees I didn't even know they did that here down here in the south, but yeah, apparently they've got uh, they've got them all strung up uh, just off the trail here to make some maple syrup, I suspect. Made it to the Grayson Highlands, and guess what? There's Pony sitting right here at the gate, waiting for me. Just waiting for me. First ponies I've seen, and. This white one just kicked me when I walked in. He didn't like it. Hey, that's all right. He's not happy. Well, welcome to the Grayson Highlands. 
and up we go. Yeah, what you couldn't see is that that white pony, as soon as I came in, kicked me <laughs> right in the leg, right in the quad. Luckily, he didn't kick me too hard. I don't know what, but he wasn't happy with me. So I, I, I don't know, maybe I didn't feed him. So he was not happy. <laughs> so welcome to the Grinstead Highlands. I get kicked 30 seconds in. Still in the Highlands, just going into these trees. So you can definitely see why the ponies are here because the grass, it's green and supple. And I'm still confused why that one kicked me, but hopefully I'll see more that will be a lot nicer. I don't know. Well, we're out of the woods for a minute. And then we're in these short trees again, it looks like. We're almost to the shelter. All right, coming up to Thomas Knob Shelter. We'll check it out. Picking a table here. Thomas Knob Shelter. Here's the first story. And now we'll go see the second story. So here's the shelter and we're staying upstairs. It's got a loft. So now I'm gonna go find some water. This is the view from behind the shelter. This sure doesn't suck. Apparently, it's supposed to have a really good sunset. All right, well, five o'clock on the money, the ponies all showed up. Because apparently people must have left some stuff and I'm not getting behind them this time because these are, these three aren't near as aggressive, although they're, they're definitely looking something. Let's see, we got the little ponies. Something down there must be salt or something. Sweat. I must have a toothache. Yeah, they're just cleaning up crumbs like a puppy dog. Cleaning up everything, huh? Look at this begging horse. This horse is a puppy. All right, so let's do end day recap for day 31. Started off at Saunders Shelter this morning, then hiked here to the Grayson Highlands, and here at the Thomas Knob Shelter for 18.9 today. Got to see the ponies, got to get kicked by one, and tomorrow we'll probably see a lot more on our way out of the highlands. So we're staying here in the shelter tonight. So this is a half mile, have a good night.